I didn't put no crap in the refrigerator. It's, yeah, it's you. No, it's not me. It's you. Dad, it's, it's this big for me. Oops. I'm, I'm in the wrong seat. Hi guys, uh, welcome to beautiful Duxbury, Duxbury, Massachusetts. Probably my most favorite uh, place in all of Massachusetts. Oh, look at that bluefish just came, straight bass just came out of the water. Oh my God. I guess this is a good place to come fishing. Um, wow. Want to go see the, um, let's go down to the water. Come here, hold my hand. Why? Don't bring your ball, it's going to fall in the water. You won't be able to get it. The, the bait, there's a ton of bait right now flowing out of the river. This is amazing. We're gonna go try to do some clamming today. I'm so, so excited. Uh, but look at it, it's such a beautiful place. Let me just give you a quick little, little thing here. So there's a, I don't know if you can hear it or see it, but the fish, the little, little herring, they're all coming out of the river. Over here. I'm so cold. You're cold? Yeah. You don't have to put your sweatshirt on. But I don't know if you can see it flashing in the water. There's a ton of herring. And uh, the birds are diving. Uh, wow, what a scene. I wish I had my fishing rod. I'd be catching fish right now for sure. Some striped bass. <laughs> She's cold. Hopefully she won't be too cold. This is a good place to come, throw the rod. I'm gonna have to come back here with a fishing rod, for sure. Dad. Yes, baby. Have a, a big hole. Like this, a big hole. The striped bass are breaking everywhere over here. I did, but every time I put the camera down, they pop up. <laughs> and then I wanted to see you guys to see it. So cool. Does this look like a, a New England, New England setting or what? It's so beautiful. I'm cold. You're cold. We're gonna go clamming. You can't be cold. <laughs> you want to put your sweatpants on? <laughs> She's cold. Oh my god. Let's go in the car. Okay, let's go. Well, we're gonna go clamming. We're gonna go clam. Some beautiful, beautiful homes here. These homes are like a couple million, couple million dollars each, at the very least. I'll take the scenic route along the water. It's so beautiful. No, we're going here to look at the uh, to go clam digging. But I don't know if uh, if you'll be able to do it. It's a little chilly today. We have to try, try our best. Open what? The yeah, we're gonna open them at home, not here on the beach. So we're gonna try and dig up some steamers and some You're making new crab for me? Some little necks. Yes, baby. You're making new crab? Yes. What do you want to do? So if we can dig up some steamers and little necks will be a good day. But I just don't know. Uh, she's a little chilly and she can't sit in the car by herself. Uh, that's a big no no. 
girl. We'll see. It's no big deal. If she can't, if it's a little bit too chilly for her, we will uh, head back. Do not walk on the dunes, or and do not throw trash. It's right yes. An ocean? Yeah. Why? Don't walk over there. It's not allowed. Come on. Yeah. Let's go here. Let's go to the beach. Go. Let me see. We go in front of me. <laughs> We're gonna go clam digging. I don't know if we'll be successful. Come on. The sand over here is better. Oh my God! Wow! Well, look at the shell. Yeah, we'll find more. We're going to go clam digging. Good. Daddy, come on. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, don't yell at me. Oh, listen to the waves. If I had my boat, I'd be out tuna fishing right now. And I can see, I can actually see the tuna fleet out here right now. Because uh, this is where you would come, right out here. Uh, P-Town, Provincetown is just right over there off the tip there. That's P-Town. Back this way is uh, Boston Harbor. <laughs> Careful, have a lot of rocks. Duxbury uh, is known for all these little rocks. What? I don't want it to go in the ocean. Yeah, don't let it go in the ocean. Have a great white shocks over here. The, the, during certain, certain times of the year, they actually have to close this beach because the sea lions will jump out of the water while the great white sharks are chasing them. I have a lot of great white sharks over here. Sea lion? Yeah, sometimes the sea lion come out. Oh, look, look, look. Hmm. Hmm. You want to kick your ball? All right, kick it to me. Don't go over there near the grass. No, over here. Have a lot of rocks there. <laughs> Why you don't play on the sand? Kick it to me. No, I don't want to go in the ocean. It won't go in the ocean. Just kick it to me. Okay, go back there, I'll kick it to you. Go back there, I'll kick it to you. Kick it to me. Kick it to me. Okay, ready? I'll kick it back to you. Go back, go back. Do that we're gonna go clam dig and you can make a big hole in the ground well, yeah, I need the rake. yeah the rake's in the car Get the rake. Get the rake. <laughs> what a beautiful sound huh isn't that a beautiful thing Hey, you like it here? Yeah. You like the beach? Yeah. You miss your mom? Yeah, I want to go with the beach and mom. Yeah. Yeah. Did you talk to Kevin today? Yeah. You did? Yeah, Kevin. Mama Ding told me Kevin in school. Mama Ding told you Kevin in school? Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you'll be in school too. We're still waiting to hear from the lady. We're still waiting for the lady. 
Because he has to approve your application. Yeah, I hope they approve it. <laughs> I'm making a bigger hole. Okay. So guys, our first week back in the United States, we're back in America. Uh, we went apple picking. Uh, the apples were delicious, expensive, but very delicious. Now we're here in Duxbury, Massachusetts. This is on the South Shore. And this is one of my old stomping grounds. Uh, whether I'm over on the other side in the bay clam digging, or whether I've been out there with the fleet of boats, you really can't see them, but there's a fleet of boats right out there. Those guys are tuna fishing. Um, this, this is a uh, tuna season. Uh, from what I hear, it's red hot. Ocean looks pretty good today, not too rough. What'd you make? <laughs> Such beautiful weather to hang out on the beach. Just a beautiful day. So we're gonna attempt to do some uh, clam digging. It's the first time I've been clam digging in like six, six years. <clears throat> uh, starting September 1st is the uh, steamer season. Uh, people who don't know what steamers are, they, they call them soft shell clams. Uh, those are the clams that you get when you order fried clams. That's the steamers. Uh, and over here they have big ones, really big ones. I don't know if they're still big like they used to be, or if it's all fished out, or if they're all no more clams. But we'll see. We're going to try. They also have beautiful cherry stones here and little necks. Uh, so delicious. They have oysters too. Um, yeah, look but you can't get the oysters. Even though they're all out at your feet, you can't pick them up. Um, the other thing they have here is razor clams. I brought my salt, you need a little bit of salt and you pour it in the hole and you watch the razor, amp, razor clam pop up out of the ground. So if the tide goes out low enough and she survives uh, waiting, because the tide's still a little high, um, I had to beat the traffic because I have to go through the city on the, I live on the north side of the city. This is on the south side. So you got to go through the city, and uh, and it's very hard with the traffic. Going back, it's going to take us a good while, maybe a good two hours to get home. When it should be only be like a forty-five minute ride. Where? She's having a blast. Everyone's good. She got a little bit of cold. I thought maybe you know coming down the ocean today, the salt air might clear her sinuses up a little bit. I don't think she's sick sick. I just think a uh, little bit of a cold, runny nose. The weather's starting to change now. It was hot and muggy, and now it's uh, getting cool. And uh, probably very typical, you know, for her body to adjust to the uh, cold. But no no fever, no no cough, nothing like that. Right? You don't have a fever, no? Daddy, look. Yeah. Well, yeah, what's that? You put a, we put a rock in the ground? Oh yeah. my God. I need to put the tea. <laughs> Face. I make a face. Oh, you're making a face here? Yeah, more rocks. Make a face with the rocks. Make a eyes, a nose. I make it. Let me see. I can make it. What's that? I can. You can. I have a face. You put the face. Got to have the face. Yeah. Try it definitely big. <laughs> She got a little chubby, I think. I think she got a little chubby. She's my mother's giving her all kinds of junk food. <laughs> I look on her. She's been eating cheeseburgers like every day at Burger King. <laughs> I make it fantastic. What what kind of snacks your nana give you? Watermelon. Yeah, you liar. She didn't give you any watermelon. What kind of snacks she give you? Um, cookies. Cookies. What else she give you? Hamburger. Chips. Chips. Oh. How about fish. Fish. Goldfish. Goldfish. What else she give you? Pretzels? Yeah. We ate some lobster the other day. She loves it. She loves her lobster. I gave her some scallops and uh, she told me, oh, it's octopus. I said, no, it's not octopus. It's a scallop. No, daddy, it's octopus. Octopus. So I guess, I guess scallops <laughs> taste like octopus. <laughs> Mm 
<clears throat> seems like it's not not too cold now that we've been out in the in the air a little bit getting adjusted to the air but um Uh, no rake. I need this. I don't have a rake. Just play with the sand. Dig the hole here with the rock. Look at it like this. I and then, need then in a little while, we're going to go over the other side and dig some clams. You going to help Daddy dig clams? Yeah, I want to do it. No, it's not ready yet. The tide's still too high. The tide's still high? Yeah, we came a little early because of the traffic. So we have to wait just like maybe half hour. So the steamers, you get them up on the on the um, on the high tide line. Uh, as soon as so, you don't, it doesn't have to be completely low because the, they aren't in the mud. The, the steamers, they're in the sand part of the beach. And then by the time we get enough steamers, the the, the tide will be low enough where we can walk out onto the mud flat and uh, look for the uh, cherry stones. So that's what I'm hoping. But I'm you know with the uh, she's I mean I got her sweatpants on her sweatshirt on but i think she's still a little chilly so let's we'll see if she can make it Daddy. are you having fun digging for clams yeah. look at all of our holes guys <laughs> did you show mommy how you're gonna dig for clams yeah. let's show mommy so this is our bucket a lot of steamers. So we look for these little holes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. A big hole. Let's find a hole. See, there's a hole right here. Uh -huh. You see these two little holes? We're gonna dig them. I want you to get the rake and dig these holes. Okay. Here. Two holes? Yeah. Dig this one with the rake. Like this. Here. Dig those holes with the rake so we can get out the steamers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You can do it. You can do it. What are you doing? You can do it. Two more hours. Sometimes you get these little baby uh, little necks. You got to throw them back. They're too small. No, I like them. No, you can't. We'll get arrested. A baby. So, come on. Let's, let's take this hole. They're not too far down. Okay, so I feel a couple. You gotta be careful because you got these shells in here. They'll cut your hand pretty bad. Normally I wear gloves, but I wasn't that prepared. So I, I can feel it now, I can feel the tip of it. I think there's at least one in here, maybe two. Usually it's only one per hole. You see that? That's a nice, that's a nice steamer. Where you go? <sighs> Waiting for the tide to go more further out so we can go out on the mud flat and get some cherry stones. Oh, I'm going to water. No, no, it's cold, very cold. No. Really, really cold. Here's my basket. Put it out there now. Now that it's half full, the steamers will start to purge the sand out of them. Even tonight, I don't think I'll be able to eat them. It usually takes a day or two. No, don't eat it. Dad, why you left it there? So the sand will come out of the clams. Get your truck. I really want to get some cherry stones, but I don't think I'll be able to. Because we're almost done. I don't need much more. I mean, a whole basket is a lot. I'm just shooting for a half a basket. Look at all our holes. She's having a good time. We're having a good time here in Duxbury. <sighs> Wish her mom was here. She would love doing this. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is our haul from today. This is what we got, some beautiful fresh steamers. Look at that, nice big ones. I just gotta purge them. Sometimes you break the shell, 
Um, but most of them are intact. This is a this is a jumbo right here, boy. Look at that. That's a beauty. It's a beautiful looking stone. Um, I got about a half a basket. This is a 12 quart, 12 quart basket. So I got six quarts here. That's okay. It's enough for us. I'll uh, I'll get these purged overnight. And uh, got a cherry stone, little little neck. Um, so I'll get these uh, cleaned up and purged the sand out of them overnight and um, eat them tomorrow night. They'll be good. If I eat them now, if I cook them now, I'll be eating nothing but sand. <clears throat> I mean, they're fresh, they're delicious. So um, what I usually do <clears throat> is just put them in a pan with some salt water. You know, just get some um, some kosher salt there, mix it up. And um, by tomorrow, they'll be good.